PowerShell GPT is a Windows application that allows ChatGPT to control your PC via PowerShell commands. We start by submitting the system prompt. This tells ChatGPT how to interact with the application. Whenever ChatGPT generates a command, PowerShell GPT detects it and requests permission before executing it. You can click Allow or Deny. If you'd prefer, you can grant permanent access by selecting this option here. For now, we're going to click Allow. You can see here the command is executed in PowerShell, and the result is then sent back to ChatGPT. Looks like everything's working perfectly. If you need help crafting more commands or integrating specific features, just let me know. Now I'm going to give it a Python prompt, hopefully to stop it making mistakes that it makes regularly. You can get better results with the pay models to be fair. Jarvis, I want you to create the game tic-tac-toe in Python. Make sure you do not use language like it's a draw. Use it is a draw. Make sure there's a restart button for when the game ends and make it, if you can, impossible to beat. Okay, there's our instructions. Let's see what it can come up with. Stop listening. Stop listening. Jarvis, stop listening. When voice recognition is in say my name mode, it will only respond to speech after the agent's name. You can choose any name you like, but make sure it's a name that the system can reliably recognize. In click to talk mode, the microphone is automatically turned off. In constant mode, voice recognition is always active and anything you say, except for inbuilt commands, saved prompts, commands, or JavaScript, gets sent to ChatGPT as a prompt. Hopefully, if all goes according to plan, we should see the Python file appear here. I'm just gonna click Allow. Okay, it looks like there was an error in the code, but hey, we don't have to worry about that. The error has been automatically sent back for evaluation. Let's hear what ChatGPT's got to say about it. It looks like the script was interpreted incorrectly, likely due to a parsing issue. I'll reformat the PowerShell command carefully to ensure it processes correctly. Now, if you've ever spent time trying to get some code to work, even if you're using ChatGPT, going back and forth correcting errors can be tiresome. With PowerShell GPT, it's a breeze. Imagine no more copy and paste, just dynamic error correction. It's rewriting the code now. Let's see how good its second attempt is. With PowerShell GPT, you can run code in Python, PowerShell, Ruby, Node.js, or basically any framework where the code is in a text file and can be executed via the command line. Okay, let's see how it did. No error. And there's the file. It's looking promising. Let's see what happens when we get ChatGPT to execute it. Jarvis, execute the Python file you just created using PowerShell tags. This is where we find out if its second attempt was successful. Let me just click Allow. That looks promising. Let's see if it works. OK. It seems to be working. I think that works. Yep, it beat me. Stay tuned to see how PowerShell GPT enables ChatGPT to execute JavaScript in its built-in browser. Don't forget to hit the like button and subscribe to stay up to date with the latest developments of PowerShell GPT.